Hey guys, it's Angela with Bomb City Dashing and we are back in the car and about to head out. Listen to my squeaky. They say it's not my brakes. Yeah, whatever. So, it's five o'clock on Tuesday. We did not go out last night. We had some things we had to go take care of and I had to go to a shop that does reupholstery and uh, furniture and curtains and I got five boxes of fabric swatches and I don't know 10 to 15 partial 54 inch or whatever bolts of fabric all for free so now I gotta figure out what to do with all of that so we like I said we're just getting started we didn't go out last night but we are gonna hit it tonight we're gonna stay out at least till 8 30 hopefully till 9 depending on how busy it is and I just want to welcome you all to the channel and if you're new please consider subscribing we would love to have you subscribe and if you like these videos and you want to know when we send out our new videos hit the bell and it will notify you when we have a new video upload we upload almost every single day with the exception of a few days so let's get started and i'll see you on the first delivery all right guys so it took 20 minutes to get our first order at twin peaks it's 5.1 miles and it's five dollars and 91 cents so i'm gonna go in and get it we're already here and i'll see you at the drop off all right guys so we arrived All right, we got our next one. I'll tell you about it in a minute. All right, guys. So this next one is a order and pay, raising canes, eight and a half miles, ten dollars and sixty cents. Let's go to raising cane, and I'll see you at the drop off. guys we got that one and now we're outside of our zone so let's get back in it and it is 6 20 and dark already so let's see what we can get all right guys so we got the next one that's right here it is an uber eats and it is for chick-fil-a it's 3.1 miles for six dollars and seven cents so let's go in to Chick-fil-A and get this.
share out for Lauren? Uber Eats for Timothy? Yeah, that's why. There you go. There you go, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thank you are welcome. Guys, let's go get them delivered. All right, guys, let's see what we can get next. All right, guys. So we got our next one on Uber Eats. It's right. It, I did not. It's not right here because I did not get a screenshot of it. It was like eleven dollars and six cents, I believe. No idea what the mileage is, but we were like half a block away, and I had to make a U-turn and just too much craziness, and I forgot to get the screenshot. So let's go into Freddy's Frozen Custard and get this order picked up. For Alan. For Alan. Uh-huh. Alright, I just want to make the amount of people. Alright, thank you. see what we get next all right guys we got this one from Grubhub for Raising Cane's 5.8 miles for seven dollars and fifty cents so we will see you man at the drop-off because you know we have to go and order and pay so we'll see you at the drop-off we'll see you in a bit we can that all right guys let's see what's next all right guys oh we're just now getting an order hang on seriously cold stone creamery it is right here it was find the picture 
um, 7.7 miles for $7.84. So let's go to Cold Stone Creamery and go pick up some ice cream. And we will see you there. You're welcome. Order for a bonita. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's go get it delivered. About drop the phone. It said ring the doorbell this time. All right, guys, let's see what we can get next. All righty, guys. So it is like 8.43, but we stopped probably about 8.15. Um, my daughter messaged me. I guess her dad doesn't feel good and she's at work. So I went and got him some chicken noodle soup and ran it to him. And so I just called it at about 8.15 and we're gonna head home. So hopefully by the time we get home, we will have the total, since we did um, several Uber Eats orders today. And I mean, we did okay. We didn't do great, but you know, it's okay. We're getting back in the swing and you know, it's all good so if you are someone that go is doing gig work that's doing DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub and whatever else how many other how many of the apps are you doing are you doing all of them a few of them one of them um, my thing is, is if you are out here trying to make money, you need to be using more than one app. So, you need to at least be doing DoorDash and Grubhub. I mean, Uber Eats. Because those two apps, you are able to work anywhere travel anywhere so if you happen to live in a small town and you can get on both of those apps get on those get approved get started because then if you want to go to the bigger city you know somewhere nearby where you are then you'll be able to you know go jump on the app in another town um, I don't know if any of y'all have watched when we went to Arlington back in July. We ended up being down there for two nights. And the second night we were there, we did three hours of DoorDash. Um, it was different. Really different. And, I mean, we did okay. So... You know, it was an experience and we learned a little bit of a lesson to make sure that when you go dashing in another location to make sure you go to an area that's like hot, like very busy, bright red. Because where we were, it was pink. And so our orders weren't all that great, but it had we gone about maybe five miles away from where we were, we would have gotten probably better orders or a lot more orders. So, um, just make sure that if you're really serious about making money doing this, that you are 
on multiple apps. I mean, I'm still trying. I mean, I, we're on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and Walmart Spark. I need to look back at my Amazon Flex because the last I looked, I could register. There was an opportunity that I could register for. Granted, it's not anywhere near my location. But I can change the location to somewhere closer to me once I get approved. So that may be what I end up doing. I'm also trying to get on Instacart, which I don't know if that'll ever happen. I really want to try to get them. I need to try to message them and see if I can change the area from where, from Amarillo to somewhere else. Um, we are on another app that is in Lubbock and one of these days I want to see if I can schedule to go to Lubbock and run that app for the day so um, yeah so let me know what apps you're running how you're doing and if you're you know if you're doing good if things have picked up since it's getting cooler since it's I mean I don't know I did really good last year around the holidays after the holidays all while it was cold so I mean we did some really we had some really great weeks back then so um hoping for some good weeks again in the near future and I mean we had we've had two great weeks that are we've had two weeks of over eight hundred dollars so that is kind of the goal for this month is we need you know 800 plus um weeks so we are right on track and you know if we don't make it we don't make it but we are going to work our butts off to get there and let's just see how we do so i'm gonna let you go we'll see you when we get to the house and we'll go over the numbers as to what we made for the night so thanks for being here all right guys we made it home it is 9 15 so in three hours and 25 minutes we made 70 dollars and 12 cents Woo for 21 dollars and 58 cents an hour so definitely nothing to snub your nose at We'll definitely take that. Not a bad evening considering. And actually, it was pretty much split down the middle um, between Grubhub and Uber Eats tonight. So our last Uber Eats was, the offer was 18 something. And it ended up being 19 and change. So actually went up, which is amazing. So we had, it was a $14 and something tip. The order, the drop off right before that for Uber Eats had a $10 tip on it. So DoorDash has been kind of slow. I don't know if that has anything to do with their request for tip for their drivers or what is going on because typically it's kind of busy to where I can at least get on but that hasn't even happened so right now we are relying on Grubhub and Uber Eats and Walmart Spark so hopefully I'm hoping we can do some Spark this weekend and kind of pad our pocket with some Spark but we'll see what happens so once again, I just want to thank all of y'all for being here. And if you're new and enjoy this video, please hit the like button, the share. If you know other people that like um, ride along videos or are interested in gig work. And I'm really working on stuff for the new year. So hopefully we'll have a new channel for budgeting gig work. Let's see, something to do, something with um, gig work to debt free by gig work or something like that. So we're going to really work hard um, 
Right now we're just trying to stay afloat. Some days it's the way it feels. Not really. I mean, we're okay. Um, don't panic. <laughs> but some days I panic. <laughs> but we're okay. But um, January I have some new things I want to work on. And I would love for you to join us on our adventure to being debt-free. So thanks again for being here, and we'll see you on the next one.